She's coming for me. There is no escaping her. Even as I speak now, she's getting closer where I'm at. When she finds me, I'll be dead. To think all it started as perfectly normal. I come home from work, like I always do, and I stop by one of my favorite fast food places, Wendy's, to grab a bite and eat before I went home. When I got there, before I went home, when I got there, through the ordering my food at the drive through window, I noticed something that caught my eye. It was a girl with red hair and pigtails. She appeared to be wearing a blue dress, just like the girls from the Wendy logo. At first, I thought it was just one of Wendy's employees promoting their restaurant, attempting to drive in more customers, but something fell off. Something was wrong about this person. She looked more menacing and devastating than cheerful. Like you with a huge grin on the sign, but no. She just felt very creepy. And all she did was stand there, stare directly at me, with those unblinking dead eyes. And when I say dead, I mean empty, soulless eyes. Fixed on me, almost as she expected me. However, I shrugged it off as paranormia, or fatigue. After a while, a long day of work, but I began to... I began to the driveway and drove right past her as I left. She never stopped staring at me. She had the windows rolled down. I had the windows rolled down. She never stopped staring at me. I had the windows rolled down and I thought I heard her say something when I passed. She never stopped staring at me. I had my windows rolled down, and I thought I heard her say something when I passed. But I had to get home, so I went and got home, and I went inside and changed my clothes. I turned on some TV and began to eat my food. Before I was able to take the first bite of my burger, I heard a giggle. From somewhere in the house, that's when I began to shout and call out, Who is that? Who is there? Someone there? Show yourself or I'll call the police. That's when I got a reply back. I saw you today. I want you to come play with me. As the voice said softly in a soft girl tone, girl tone I immediately pan- panicked and yelled, Who are you? The strange girl replied said, Well, I'm Winnie, of course. Come play with me. Mister, we will have lots of fun forever and ever. I promise. After I heard this, I, a lump formed in the back of my throat. As I got up from my couch and I started to run towards the door, but when I swung it open to get the get the hell out of this house, when I swung it open, I saw the girl from the restaurant standing right in front of me, but this time something was off about her, different about her from before. Her eyes were pitch black, her hair was matted and caked in blood, and when she smiled, I could see her sharp yellow pointed teeth lining inside of her mouth. I thought this was I thought I was scared shitless before this point, but this time I was freaking the fuck out. Wendy spoke to me again, but this time in a dynamic voice, and she said, Why won't you come play with me? There's no one to play with me. Not even Daddy. And he is dead, so I slammed the door on this monster. And I began to run out into the kitchen where I grabbed a knife and a phone, and I immediately called 911. Once I finally got a hold of someone, I explained to them what, hap- what was happening and where I was located. They thought it was a prank, so they hung up on me. I started to cry and fall in a devastating meltdown. Suddenly I heard a door crash open, and when I, I thought to myself, she is in the fucking house. What am I going to do? But then it dawned on me. I'm going to try to attack it head on to see if I can kill it. I waited till it got closer and as I waited I heard something wreck in my house. I could still hear it call out to me. Come play with me. We'll have lots of fun together. You can have all the frosties and drink you can eat and drink. 
come out and I won't hurt you much. I just want to play. As I kept trying, as it kept trying to lure me out, I got more, it got more aggressive. Come out, damn you. I want to fucking play, as it roared in an aggressive tone. That's when I yelled out, I'll never come play with you, you evil piece of shit. You're a devil spawn, leave me alone. I yelled out to it. Then it started to giggle and said to me, I won't leave you alone. I don't want to. I chose you, and when I choose someone, I take them so we can have lots of fun for all eternity until they die. As it said this, the footsteps got closer to where I was hiding. I was ready to strike at this time. I jumped out, hitting the creature with absolute force with the knife I had in my hands, striking it right between the eyes. Wendy let out a horrifying, pain, painful shriek. That's when I began to run towards the door. But I wound up trip I wound up tripping on a clutter before I could reach the door, and that's when I heard the creature say, You're really starting to piss me off. There's no running from me. I will catch you and I will find you. And when I do our playtime will be more fun for me than it'll be fun for you. So when I got back up on my feet I finally made it to the door where I made it into my car and I spun off with full speed. To go anywhere but here, far, far away from where that monster is. So hoping I'm here sitting in the hotel room praying to God she won't f never find me. Hoping that sh I will not die, but wait, I hear the giggling right at my door right now. She's here. Oh Jesus Christ, you found me. I have nowhere else to go now. She's in. She's right in front of me now. And if you ever hear from me again, just remember one thing. If you see a strange girl in front of your local Wendy's restaurant, don't make eye contact with her because this stranger in a Wendy's costume can look very devising.